I want to tell you about a book that I know the devil doesn't want you to read. I know that he doesn't want you to read it because it'll change your whole prayer life. It'll escort you into realms of prayer that you've never experienced before, and it'll bring you more prayer answers. Why do I know the devil doesn't want you to read it? Well, because of what it will do when you read it, but also because of the warfare around this book. This particular book hit number one on Amazon in two categories at launch. Three days later, this book was yanked off of Amazon could not be found. People were actually trying to sell their only copy for over $100 a piece. That was how valuable the book was deemed. And you know what? It was one of my books. And it was The Intercessor's Devotional. This hit number one in more than one category. And then suddenly it was yanked out of the blue. Nobody could tell me why. Nobody could tell me what happened. Nobody could tell me when it would get back up. And we fought and we clawed and we prayed and we pushed and we fought. And it went back up on Amazon. And the moment that it did, it hit number one once again. Why does the devil hate this book so much? Well, number one, he hates intercessors. The devil hates when we pray because he knows prayer is our lifeline to God. He knows that prayer changes things. He knows that prayer causes him to have to back up. Amen. We have authority over him in the name of Jesus. But he doesn't want you to read this because he knows that these 365 daily encouragements are going to inspire your whole prayer life. I'll tell you the truth. When I was writing this book, I got about Hmm, I don't know, a third the way through and I caught fire. I had an encounter. I got a revelation and I just went deeper and deeper and deeper. Writing this book set the stage for my own prayer life to go on overdrive. And I've been seeing miraculous prayer answers. I mean, I can't even begin to tell you what the Lord has done in my prayer life since I wrote this book. I put myself in it, my heart, my soul, my spirit, the Holy Spirit helped me. It's a beautiful book, but the inner Intercessor's devotional was written to equip and encourage you in your prayer journey. So whether you're a seasoned intercessor or you're just starting out, this is a unique resource that's going to position you to release fervent prayer that drives results. Now, this is, again, number one on Amazon. The devil is a liar. Listen, maybe you don't know me. Maybe this is the first time you've come across me. I've written over 50 books. I've never had this much. Not only did, did, did the enemy fight it at launch, we had to revise the cover three times because the printer just could not make it work. It was weeks and weeks and weeks and over and over and over. Listen, I've got a prayer movement called Awakening Prayer Hubs. We have over 70 nations represented in this prayer movement. It's a prayer family. I'm discipling you. But that's a little bit about who I am. I used to be the editor of Charisma magazine. I've got a church here in Fort Lauderdale called Awakening House of Prayer. But anyway, this is the devotional experience that every intercessor has been waiting for. There's strategic daily teachings and spirit-led petitions that fuel your prayer life and your intimacy with Christ the intercessor. I want to read you one of the entries here. Because over the course of 365 days, you're going to discover the power in diverse prayer anointings. You're going to find encouragement in your intercessory assignment. You're going to receive strategic insight into successful intercession. You're going to go deeper in your intercessory prayer calling. You're going to overcome obstacles to your prayer life. And you're going to expand your intercessory prayer potential. And in just a moment, I want to read you one of these entries. Because I know that as you press in, to be more like Christ the intercessor. You're going to gain new understanding into realms of prayer that you may never have heard about. Uh, maybe you have heard about them, but you've never stepped into them. You're going to gain confidence in intercessory operations, and you're going to see more prayer answers. I want to read you one of these entries here, but I want you to grab a hold of this. Why? Because I know it's going to help you. I know it's going to change you. And when you buy this, you send us your receipt, at jenniferleclair.org slash intercessors, you're going to get a discount off of a webinar. You're going to get a $10 gift card for our, for our store. You're going to get one month free of my Ignite Network. That's well over the cost of the book, uh, $75 worth of free bonuses when you grab hold of 
this book on Amazon and send it over to us. Amen. You can get it on my website as well. Let me see. Which one of these do I want to read? Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Here's one from August the 3rd. It's called Doing Business with God. Doing Business with God. And here is what it says. God is not transactional. He's relational. But that doesn't mean we don't do business with God. Prayer is the basis for bringing blessings down from the spiritual realm to the temporal realm. Remember, we got saved through a spiritual transaction that ushered us out of darkness and into the kingdom light. In her classic book on prayer, Mustard, Virginia Whitman writes, when you have a desire or need for something, be it a commodity or a service, you make contact with a person or firm who, who, who you presume could give you satisfaction. What follows is termed doing business with them. Prayer is doing business with God. It is every bit as practical as an earthly transaction. So the idea here is not to pray is is not to pray to God like a big Santa in the sky or a genie in a bottle who offers three wishes. The idea rather is for the intercessor to comprehend that when prayer goes up, answers come down. Although sometimes he answers us before we call, most often there is no prayer answer without a prayer request. Yes, he already knows what we need before we ask, but for the sake of relationship, we must enter into the faith-inspired, promised-based transaction. But now look at the other side of this concept. Only those in right relationship with God can do business with him. The primary business God does with unbelievers in the realm of prayer is to bring salvation to a lost soul that cries out to him. So we don't want transactional faith. That is faith that only expresses itself in an emergency or that supposes one has to be perfect before petitioning the throne of grace. But our prayer of faith is doing business with God in the spirit realm and the results of that transaction appear in the natural realm. Remember that when prayers goes up, answers come down. Here's the prayer starter. Father, in the name of Jesus, would you help me understand the transactional dynamics of the prayer of faith? Would you help me understand what it means to do business with you? Teach me how to enter into your divine transactions that bring your will to pass. Amen. And there's so many others. There's the rise of remnant intercessors, stepping into the simplicity of prayer, triggering dynamite prayers, discerning your inner circle intercessors, uh, building mega prayer stamina. Don't we need that? Then there's beware carnal prayer polluters. Uh-oh, missing the prayer mark. Then we have concentrated prayer, the noisy intercessor. Who are, where are your manners? Who are you agreeing with? There's 365 daily activations to, to invitations rather to activate and accelerate your prayer life. I want you to grab hold of this. God forbid Amazon take it down again. They might. You know, I don't know what's going on. I just know that I've never had so much trouble with a book my whole life. I've been writing books for 20 years uh, and I have never had so much warfare. And that's because there's this book is powerful. Whatever level you're at, there's something there for you. Now, I want to pray for you right now. Amen. Remember, get the get the book, get it on Amazon. If some way, if somehow it's not there, buy it on my website at jenniferleclair.org and Grab a hold of the bonuses when you send in your receipt. So, Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for those listening to the sound of my voice. I thank you for all those that are going to pick up a copy of this book. I ask you, Lord, to help them to navigate realms of prayer, to navigate realms of the spirit with which they may not be familiar. Teach them how to pray. Teach them how to make intercession. Teach them how to fight the good fight of faith and not stop until they see the answer in the name of Jesus. Now, I pray a blessing on the eyes and ears and the prayers of everyone who purchases this book. I pray a special blessing that their eyes will be open, their ears would be open, they would come into an understanding, aha moments, that they would see, my God, I can do this. I can break through in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Guys, remember, the Intercessors Devotional, Amazon.com, send in your receipt, jenniferleclair.org slash intercessors. Be back with you. Bless you.